Good morning. It is Thursday. I don't know why I lost a, a day somewhere. I always lose a day. Um, anyway, yesterday I went to the Cancer Center for a dressing change, and my pick line finally gave up. So, got that taken out, and they were saying, oh, he's going to want you to do a port. I will not do a port. Uh, we attempted twice, one on the left and one on the right. Just not doing it. Just not doing a port. Now, he could put in another pick line, or I just have a few treatments, according to the nurse. Uh, of course, my doctor has not told me this yet, but... Um, we're going to do in my veins at least the next treatment, and I'll talk to my doctor, and if he insists, I'll do a pick line, but I will not do a port. <laughs> Other than we tried twice, deep in my heart is saying, do not do it again. So, therefore, I'm not. I'm just not, not doing it. But anyway, so did that. Uh, really had a great conversation with people there. Uh, talk to another gal that's always there when I'm there and it's the first time we've ever spoke and it, it was really nice it was nice speaking with her so then uh, I was supposed to have a primary doctor appointment today but they scheduled it for yesterday he did I thought I was taking five milligrams for my blood pressure but it was only 2.5 very low and uh, so we increased it to five because, of course, I was playing doctor. Disclaimer, I am not a real doctor. I just play one when I think I should. <laughs> anyway, he laughed at me and told me not to do that no more. But that he did agree that I needed to go up one. Because uh, he also thinks it had to do with the change in medicine. And he said also it could be the steroids. Or it could be because my body kept trying to reject that pick line that it could have caused my blood pressure to increase. So I slept like a baby last night other than a mild headache, which I'm not quite sure what that's coming from. But I'm thinking probably too much screen time at night, you know, holding the phone a little too close to my face. So I'm, I'm going to try to change that, see if it helps. <laughs> so let's see my primary doctor said uh, he said you know all of your scans he goes because they do full body scan he goes everything on you just looks great he said and my blood pressure was down when I went in but of course I took an extra pill so he said uh, he goes uh, your blood pressure is not broke so he goes it's in an acceptable range we're going to increase your blood pressure pill until it's, and I have to monitor it. And then if it continuously is really low, uh, then, then we'll talk about it then. But while I was waiting, I waited almost two hours, which I don't mind because this doctor takes his time with each and every patient. And so I know he's done it for me, and I'm just grateful that he's able to do it for someone else. And uh, so it, he was a couple hours late, you know, but uh, there's a new therapist that he has. She's really sweet. Came out, and she said, I know, I've heard about your story about my cancer, I'm supposing. She goes, and I, she goes, you know, um, we... We could talk. I would just love to just, even if it's just one visit, you know, I'm co you're covered by um, the insurance. I take that insurance. And anyway, I'm going to go Monday. And she was really, we talked forever. So that was really, that was like a, a free, <laughs> a free therapy session. And I am not opposed to therapy. I had an amazing therapist, um, Janice. Boy, she's just amazing for uh, several years. And then, of course, she moved. She moved to Costa Rica, and now she's in Portland, Oregon. But, <laughs> man, I looked forward to seeing her. It, it was just, it's nice just 
to see and talk to someone who doesn't know anything about you and you could just as I call it just vomit everything so but I, I would like to like talk about you know the passing of my brother and uh, you know and stuff like that I'd like to not so much the cancer as I told my doctor yesterday you know because he was like yeah you know I'm sorry that you got cancer I said well you know cancer actually so much good has come out from that right God gives us beauty for our ashes I have met some incredible people I have learned to totally depend and trust in the Lord <coughs> and I also I just it stuff just doesn't matter when you're at that moment because there was a moment I was I didn't know if I was going to beat cancer or not beat cancer but that's when I gave it to the, the Lord you know and I've said it before you heard it if if you spare me I'm with you all the way if you take me I'm with you all the way either way I'm with the Lord right the minute that I surrendered a new calmness and peace came over me you know uh, kind of like with a doctor's office you know I just sat there the whole time smiling I try to make it to where I'm always smiling even if no one's watching I just want to always be smiling it's good medicine for your soul I'm telling you I and I've shared this story before there was a pharmacist at our Safeway <laughs> years ago when I lived here in town and she was always smiling man I made a point even if I didn't have to go to the pharmacy there just to go by so I could see her not only did her mouth smile her eyes her, everything about her smile and that you know makes me think that's what we want people to say what does she have you know well she had Christ in her but I found out later you know and she made a point to always smile so one day I was driving I said you know what no matter what I'm just gonna smile I'm gonna drive and smile and I'm gonna see how long I could do it and now I do it all the time I do it so much that hair will hurt <laughs> at times because I just want to and I'm sincere I I want I want to feel happy inside and I want to to reflect outwardly and I want people to think what does Gracie have what's going on with her why is she always happy why is she always smiling and uh, the comment came to me yesterday you you're just always smiling I have so much to be grateful for God is good every day all day he, he's just good he just no matter the storm he's good he's good he's good but um I even forgot where I was going with this okay I'm feeling so much better so let's see I did the cancer center did my primary went and finished up I had to pick up my prescription so I grabbed a few items so I won't have to go back to a grocery store for over a week yes made sure I had plenty of water uh, bright and early this morning I was up and at them made my bed went to the gas station I put in about $20 a week on gas it would be less but there are some cold days so I run my heat just a little bit more so did that Kim made me those mini bagels with cream cheese a little bit of turkey bacon on it and a tomato mm -mm. got my coffee made you know and now I have a project I'm gonna be working on so um, gonna get busy on that but I just wanted to hop on here and chit chat for a minute you know things are good things are so good uh, even in this rain like I want to get out and walk so I'll probably go to the little outlet mall later on so I can walk around on the inside oh I got my flu shot <laughs> this is another story so my doctor my primary he says so are y'all caught up on your shots I was like oh lordy he goes how about your flu shot and he gives me the look I said well 
I should actually get that because um, my immune system due to treatment is low. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to get sick. And uh, I told him, I go, well, you know, I just avoid people. And he gave me that fatherly look. And uh, I said, okay, I'll get the flu shot. He goes, well, what, how about your uh, COVID shot? I said, I'm not getting that. I said, I was fully vaxxed when I got Delta. I don't even remember that time when I got Delta. I was so sick. I said, and there's just too many things back and forth on the COVID vaccine. I said, I'm, I'm just not doing it. I said, but, you know, I do um, make sure I wash my hands and I'm doing everything I'm supposed to. Uh, you know, wear masks, and I, I just avoid, if, man, if I hear someone like in Walmart or uh, Target, <laughs> Target or something coughing, let me tell you, I'm out. I'm like, I, I don't want none of that, you know, and I try not to go during peak time. Uh, my favorite time to go, like, into Walmart is when they open up at 6 in the morning, you know, where there's only a handful of people in there. I know where everything is, so I go straight to what I need to get, and then I leave. I'm, I'm not one of those doddlers who, you know, unless I'm trying to get in some steps, then I'll spend time inside of Walmart. But, yeah, I, uh, I just avoid, avoid, and avoid. So, anyway, he just kind of gave me the look, and he leaves the room, and the nurse looked at me. She goes, he thinks... I got the shot. She goes, I didn't get the COVID shot. She goes, I'm the same way as you are. There are too many mixed reports. And it's a personal preference. You know what I mean? Kind of like politics. It's your own thing. But anyway, um, that's what's going on with me. I've, I'm excited for this new project. And I'm going to finish writing it out. I, I love to write. And at least have like some kind of, uh, you know outline of what I'm going to do and then um, my first filmings and stuff will be Sunday uh, it has something to do with churches and hopefully I could hit two churches on Sunday one I'll go early morning and then the second one I could get to to their second service and I'm gonna you know do that for like three weeks and then um Put it all together what I'm doing and then put it into like a mini documentary thing anyway there'll be more about that later on I have been praying on it and it's been heavy on my heart and so uh, now is the time so and the Lord woke me up today and I'm feeling good I pray you're having an amazing Thursday it is wet not windy anymore but it was really windy it's probably why I slept so good. It was like rocking a baby to sleep. And the rain on the roof of my van is, oh man, nothing beats it. But um, yeah, I'm excited. So I, I pray, truly pray for each and every one of you. That you just be good to yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself like Christ loves you. Do good for others. You know, it is so true. When we're in a slump or in the middle of a storm, if we remove ourselves from us and go and do something for someone else, the Lord blesses us over and over and over again, you know, and we're blessing the Lord by doing what he commands us to do. We are to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. That's it. We are. So if you happen to have an extra coat, one that you're eh, not really attached to, or a warm blanket or when you make your dinner if you have enough for an extra plate to plate up and go um there are many people that would love to have a warm meal especially on a cold wet day if you're able to do that pray on it and if the lord leads you to do that go do it you know, do you have socks? I know people that have like 30 pairs of socks. I own two. I think I only own one now. But anyway, you know, nothing's worse than walking around with wet shoes and wet socks. 
If you have it, just walk up to someone and say, hey, you know, I just, here's a pair of socks. I don't want your feet to be wet and cold or just something simple. There's no shaming them. There's, it just shows that you care and we're doing as Christ would do. Because he does say, if we do it unto the least of these, the least of them. So that's my spill. We need to be more godly, more, definitely more giving. This world is all about, you know, I got, I got to have this, got to have that. And the holidays coming and everyone with their big list and stuff. And, you know, I, I don't spend on Christmas. I give when I feel I'm talking about family. When I, I feel that the Lord moves me to give, you know, that's when I give. I celebrate Christ. I recognize it. Not that it's his actual birthday, but, you know, the birth of baby Jesus, you know, is acknowledged on that day. And I do that. And I try to do, you know, how the, um, the three wise men, how they went and, you know, they offered gifts. We should be offering gifts to people such as, you know, blankets and, you know, how about a McDonald's $5 gift card, a, you know, cocoa at Starbucks, something, you know, <laughs> and that's what we should be doing. So I, to me, the holidays is a, about taking it outside of myself, you know, I, I'm just, and I'm not that Nana that, you know, here, let me buy you everything and anything. Now, if you do it, you do it. That, I'm, I'm just talking about myself. You know, if we just remove ourselves from what this world has programmed us to think and do and get back into the word of God and do as he commands us to do, your life is going to be so much better. Because you're going to feel better. The Lord's going to be so happy that you're honoring him. Because he wants us to honor him, to love him, and to respect him and obey him. So, I think I've chattered enough. It's a good day. My voice sounds pretty darn good. Got my favorite little wrap on. I love this thing. That someone... Um, I'm going to find a pattern for this and make some because this is just the best thing ever. And this, any, you can change out the scarf and as uh, that way I could gift them out. But anyway, um, yeah, God's good. So like I said, be good to you. God loves you right where you're at. You do not have to wait till you're perfect because honey, none of us are. I fall short each and every day as do you. But the beauty is, God loves us right where we're at. He knows our shortcomings. But the best thing is, He knows the greatness that is within you. So, I'm out of here. Going on 19 minutes, so I guess I better end this. Y'all have a blessed day. I'm going to drink my coffee and uh, get to writing. Anyway, this is Gracie, and I'll be talking to you soon. God bless each and every one of you. Bye.